When did you get the news about Zach? And can you just talk about this opportunity and, and how you prepared for this during the offseason? Uh, heard about yesterday, Zach going down. Make sure everything's all right and all he's feeling well. Uh, but I'm always prepared, already. Never know when someone's going to go down or what's going to happen. And be in a situation like this, just got to be ready to step up. And last year helped me a lot with confidence, so I'm ready to go. What's the key to maximizing this opportunity against the Buccaneers, and what do you see from the defensive front? Um, they're a good defensive front. They got really fast flowing linebackers ready to go and just ready to step up and show, just carry over last year, build upon it, and just regroup as a whole line, just keep improving. Are you more comfortable on the right or the left, would you say? Um, I played right for a lot longer, but uh, just practicing left the past few years on it, feel comfortable. It's either way, feel comfortable. Actually, all five positions, just wherever someone needs me, I step up and go. Connor, what would be harder, uh, finding out like a, the day before or the morning of, or having the whole week to think about? Um, luckily, in my position, like if anyone goes down, I'm ready to step up. So it doesn't really matter. Like obviously, it would be harder if it was right before the game. They come like, are right, you getting the start? Like going in. But just in my position, I'm just ready to prepare to go in any time because during the game, you don't know what's going to happen at one moment. Just the next play, you've got to be ready to go. You had a like, strange start to your career, obviously, this and then last year with the pandemic and everything. How, how much more comfortable do you feel for this opener than last year? Um, definitely a lot more comfortable. Last year, I took basically it was like almost a little over a year and a half off of football uh, with the injury and all that. So last year was a little slower start. It took me a while to get into it. but. This year, just building off last year, the whole OTAs helped a lot, camp, and I just feel real comfortable right now. The crowd in Tampa, they'll be all fired up, raising the Super Bowl banner, and all of that. You guys didn't really have to deal with crowd noise last year at all, so could you speak to that point of what you'll be dealing with here soon? Um, this, we're just going to, it's been a whole new fact that last year we didn't have to deal with, like, when we went out to Seattle, there was no fans, all that. Just something we've been practicing, pumping the crowd noise, and a lot of us are used to it. We've played in front of large crowds before, but it's just going to be another factor that we'll get used to as the game goes on. Connor, you, you mentioned him? finding out about the news. Have you talked to Zach since he's been diagnosed? Um, I, team I have not yet. Uh, I was going to reach out now after practice with him and everything else, but make sure he's all right and all that first. Has Coach McCarthy or any of your coaches told you you'll be the starting right guard this week? Uh, yes, the one I found out that we just kind of just stepped up right into it and just keep going with it and business. You talked about having confidence from last season. What about last year in particular when you looked at you know, the experience you were able to get? It gave you that confidence going forward. Uh, just going back and watching, just at, last year it was kind of a slower start for me, just not playing for a while, but each week just kept growing and confidence, and confidence just kept growing and growing. And this year I just felt like just keep uh, on that same track and just keep growing. What strides do you think you've been able to make since we last saw you late last season? Um, definitely just position flexibility, being able to play both sides, all five and all that. And then now just being more comfortable overall and just being a leader out there. We've seen you go come out with the guys from the quarterback school, so I'm just assuming you're taking some center snaps. Yep, What's I, that like again? Uh, uh, it felt good uh, having the ball in my hand. It's been since college, since the last time I snapped, but it was just natural getting right back into it. Have you ever asked the like, coaches, like, hey, I can do this too, like you want to give me a whirl at it? And wherever the coaches want me to play, I'll play. I'll step up wherever. Connor, how does Zach help y'all as an offensive line be on the same page, and how would you describe his leadership on the field? Uh, his leadership skills are through the roof. He makes sure we're all on the same page every single time. Uh, it's very vocal and all that. What he come echoes like when we do the crowd noise on it, his voice echoes right through. We make sure we're all on the same page and we're good to go. Did you say you got a decent amount of first team reps in camp and left and right guard, just kind of mixing in with Connor and Zach. I, I would say it was split like during camp, 50-50, right left. Zach ever came out as a right guard. Come with Connor every once in a while, or when Connor slid over the center, I was the left guard. It's constantly rotating back and through. What's the key again going to get Sue in that defensive line? I just think coming out fast and just getting them off the ball, try to get penetration, just try to take it to them first. Yeah, we're good.